Hello. Let's talk today about ESE series scroll chillers from Con Air, the modular series of central chillers. The ESE series of scroll chillers are a modular series that can be built up to uh, create a wide variety of tonnages. The individual units are available in 10 through 160 ton modules. Each one uses scroll compressors and is using R-410A refrigerant. These are available in single or dual refrigerant circuits. They can be water-cooled or remote air-cooled with an outdoor condenser on the roof or next to the plant. These can be provided as a chiller only, as we see in the picture, or with an integral reservoir and it, their own set of pumps. And very importantly, each one of these modules comes with a PLC with an integrated color touchscreen HMI that you can see in the picture there. The PLC controller on the ESC series chillers provides a wide range of control. The entering or leaving fluid temperature control, optional hot gas bypass valve modes, either off or on auto, the last compressor on automatic mode, always on with PID loop or manual, great deal of flexibility. All circuits are controlled by a common manifold mounted temperature sensor to avoid blending and temperature drift. Very, very important in central uh, uniformity in central uh, chilling water. Also, floating head pressure control, an electronic expansion valve, electronic condenser water regulating valve, and automatic lead lag to equalize running hours. That means that the uh, motors will switch duty cycles to even them out. And along with that PLC controller comes an extensive range of displays and setup screens. And everything we're talking about here comes with every single chiller. Refrigerant discharge temperature and pressure, refrigerant suction temperature and pressure, refrigerant saturated suction temperature, process water entering and leaving temperature, condenser water entering and leaving temperature, even outdoor air temperature, particularly important if remote condensers are used. As a matter of fact, there's so much information provided as standard. We like to say that surface, service personnel typically do not need meters or gauges. It's all right there on the screen. And by the way, that bottommost screen you see in the picture there, that's the default screen. That is what the uh, screen will default to when uh, it, it, uh, there's no activity on it. So very, very easily you can see the set point and you can see the process output temperature at a glance. The PLC controls on each of these modular chillers are also expandable and interlinkable. A twisted prayer control wiring between those modules provides centralized control for up to 960 tons. So what you can see there is actually five modules, all with a twisted pair of connectors between them, but that allows one control to be master over the other uh, chillers, all from one location. Very, very convenient for growing plants that uh, do not want to have multiple controls located in different places. All of it can be controlled from one controller. Once again, all standard. Now this is a handy capabilities chart that you might want to spend a little more time with than we are going to today. This is an overview of the ESE's capability for both water-cooled configurations and outdoor remote condensers as indicating about fourth line down there with W's and R's. And then we show it a listing of the uh, nominal tons there through the middle section from 10 all the way up to 160. Uh, towards the bottom, we can see that those are in either single or dual refrigerant circuits and whether they are the chiller only or incorporated with a uh, pump tank. And just to extract from that last chart a little bit, here's a little bit of a summary. The ESE series scroll chillers are modular and so they can be uh, mixed and match. We have single refrigerant circuits from 10 to 80 tons, dual refrigerant circuits from 20 to 160 tons. Now each refrigerant circuit has two compressors, and these are scroll type compressors once again. The PLC is expandable to control up to 12 refrigerant circuits via that twisted pair that we talked about between the modules, and it provides a common control for up to 960 tons. And these circuits can be different sizes. Now let's talk about system redundancy a little bit here with this chart. 
And from this, we can see the way that the different modular sections of a central chiller system can be made up to accomplish your needs. We can start by suggesting, as we're showing here, that the plant load in tons is 100 tons. But we want some redundancy in that 100 ton chilling. And so what are our choices? So in a standard chilling configuration, our plant load in tons is 100 tons, and our choice might be to simply double that, to add another 100 ton chiller so we have some redundancy. And the connected load would then be 200 tons. That means a lot in energy hookup and so forth. And here we can see how the same task could be accomplished with the modular ability of the ESE series. For instance, we could have a total of three modular chillers, each with a circuit tonnage of, a, uh, of 50 tons for a connected load of 150. Or as we're showing there on the far right, we could simply take a 100 ton chiller, combine it with a 50 ton chiller. Now we've got two units, but they are only going up to 150 ton. Much better at fashioning a uh, connected load that uh, is not just simply doubling the capacity of the plant load. Here's another example. We start with a plant load requirement of 200 tons. How do we achieve redundancy? Once again, without modular ability, we could simply double the load. So we put in two 200-ton chillers for 400 tons of connected load. And once again, with modular ability, we can mix and match even up to as many as uh, five chillers connected together. And there's one such suggestion there on the far right, putting two 100 tons together and an additional 50 ton to give us some, uh, some uh, redundancy, but without not uh, simply doubling the uh, tonnage of the first chiller. Let's take a closer look at some of those PLC screens. Here's one called circuit data. And once again, this is the, all the information that a skilled operator could probably ever require. And once again, this all comes for free. And you can read down through this list here to see discharge pressure, suction pressures, evaporator out temperature, and so forth. All of this comes standard, and it's all visible on the PLC touchscreen. Optimum efficiency for the system can easily be obtained with uh, staging controls. Um, setting up the uh, different circuits of the um, chiller and even employing a remote set point. Once again, all of this capability is all free built into the PLC of the ESC series chillers. And here are some screens that you would see if, in fact, you employed the optional pump control and pump VFD screens along with a pump tank. You can actually stage the, uh, the pump controllers and uh, even the VFDs if they are equipped with variable frequency drives. All of that can be fine-tuned with the onboard uh, uh, diagnostics and screens that you have with the ESE series PLC controller. And as we mentioned before, the default screen on the PLC touchscreen is a very, very large readout of the set point and the process temperature. Uh, this is the default. The screen does not go black after a period of time, but it actually defaults to the screen. So this is something that any operator can see from 30 or 40 feet as he passes by, just to make sure the system is up to snuff and doing what it should do. Trending is also available. So all these temperatures and the operations of the chiller can actually be uh, provided in the form of trending screens to make sure that the system is on track and to, uh, to track its performance. Uh, central water chilling is nothing to fool around with. We want to keep a look at it. We want to make sure it's efficient and we want to make sure it's maintained. Trending certainly helps with that. And this information can be exported to a computer so that it could be put into a spreadsheet or something for analysis of overall processing uh, parameters. Let's talk about the support of the ESE series of chillers. We certainly hope you're enjoying this movie, but there are other uh, tools out there. 
Uh, on the far left there, we can see our specification sheet that is available on the Conair website. At the bottom right, we can see the instruction manual, and that can be accessed. You don't have to be an owner to take a look at the instruction manual and see what you're in for. And also, uh, Conair is providing what we are calling an application guide, and this is very dense information. All of the parameters associated with each and every one of these chillers, installation guidelines and so forth, that is a uh, tremendous tool. The spec sheet provides everything you need for selecting a chiller. And here's just some excerpts from the uh, pages there. It shows plant layout drawings, actually a circuit, even some pump performance charts, all within that spec sheet. That's a multi-page spec sheet, and you can find that at conairgroup.com. On the website there, look under products, look under heat transfer, the ESE chillers. The guidebook for advanced information about the ES chiller is the application guide. This has more detailed information on the electrical characteristics, the performance characteristics under different conditions, even the pump curves, advanced pump curves. This is a, uh, this is a pretty big volume of, uh, of information on this uh, very important uh, line of modular chillers, something that our application engineers traditionally use, but it is available. So contact Conair if you're interested in a copy of this. For, a, uh, for an application. And of course the detailed instruction manual. This is available on the Conair website right now. You can go take a look at it at conairgroup.com and once again look under products, look under heat transfer, look for ESE series central chillers. Here's an excerpt from that instruction manual. This particular uh, page is uh, talking about the installation of remote condensers. Sometimes that's a little bit of a strange science for, uh, for people that aren't familiar with them, but you can see in these pages roughly the rigging installation and even the piping of these remote condensers. This is an example of the detailed information available in the instruction manual. And just a little peek inside the doors of Con Air and the team that is dedicated to this product line and in fact all of the heat transfer products. Uh, this group of fellows stands uh, waiting to help out anybody that either has sales application, even design issues, service, and then the guy that will be on site for any project management duties. Give them a call. They're all reachable at 724-584-5500. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about the ESE series of scroll chillers from Conair. Thank you.